Hey everyone, my name's Jake. I'm a mechanical engineer, and I'm here with the first-hand knowledge that you need to graduate with any degree you want. And today, we're gonna to talk about successful studying. And stick around because I'm gonna reveal the number one piece of advice that I have to make your studying more successful. Let's go. So let me ask you something. What makes a particular study session successful? Is it how many pages you've read, or how many notes you've taken, or how much time you've spent? Yeah, it's really none of those things, right? I mean, think about it. We've all studied for hours and hours before without ever really learning anything, or uh, read dozens of pages in a textbook without ever really absorbing the material, or mindlessly copied down pages of notes without ever really knowing what the hell we were putting on the paper. Um, no, what really defines successful studying is three simple things. Understanding, application, and retention. Do you understand or comprehend the material that you're studying? Can you now apply it to problems and real world situations? And finally, did you retain it to apply at a later date? So in this video, I'm gonna focus on step one, understanding. Uh, this is a really big topic, so stay tuned, uh, subscribe to the channel to not miss any future videos because I'm gonna make several videos on understanding, application, and retention. Um, so stay tuned for those. So understanding is where it all begins, right? It's where the roots of your knowledge begin to take hold. Never skip over this step. I think a lot of students think that it's okay to just memorize how problems are solved without ever really understanding or under or comprehending the underlying material and theory. Uh, this will bite you in the ass eventually. Trust me, I speak from experience here. So what does it mean to have understanding of a given topic? Well, when it comes to engineering, um, a good way to kind of know if you understand something or to kind of test yourself is, uh, are you able to teach the core theory and principles to a classmate and describe them successfully? Uh, or do you understand what the core equations are modeling? Can you describe that to someone? Um, and can you define what each variable represents in those equations? Uh, these are the kind of things that you can kind of test yourself with to make sure you understand a topic. Um, you know, having understanding of a, of a given topic or material is really where your power and value as an engineer is created. Wow. So where's the best place to start when you're trying to understand a given topic? Well, your high-tech, state-of-the-art, futuristic textbook. Aww. What'd you think I was gonna say? Your textbooks are the source material, okay? Your labs, lectures, and homework all exist to help you understand what's in here. In most cases, your entire course is designed around what's in the textbook, okay? So with that, I want you to be honest with yourself. Do you thoroughly read through your textbooks? Yeah, neither did I. That's crazy, right? Crazy talk, right? Who the hell reads their textbooks? Yeah, I did what most students do, and at least in the beginning, and I just memorized the main applications that were shown in lecture, and then just assumed that that's what was gonna show up on the exam. Spoiler alert, I got a lot of C's. So if I could give every engineering student one piece of advice, it would be this. Read your damn textbooks. Not just a skim, not just a page here and there. Every single page, right? Read and reread every page until you understand it. Hold yourself accountable uh, to understanding the material that's in your textbooks. Once I made that change, uh, I never got below a B again. I never failed a course again. That's how effective it was for me. And look, I understand that not all textbooks are created equal, right? Like some are way more well put together, more well organized than others. Um, but that's where your other resources come in. You know, your professors, your TAs, your lecture notes, your uh, online resources, YouTube's great, your peers, your study group, uh, tutoring centers, all these things exist to help you understand the material that's in your textbooks, okay? And stay tuned, I'm gonna do more videos on how to get more uh, 
how to be more productive in your reading and how to get more out of your textbooks. But for now, if you're not committing yourself to, to understanding the material in your textbooks, I promise you, if you make that change, it's going to make all the difference, okay? Hold yourself account accountable for understanding the material in your textbooks, and it's going to make all the difference, I promise. So again, for successful studying, we have those three items, right? We have understanding, application, and retention, okay? So that first step, um, proper understanding and comprehension, that begins with committing yourself to understanding and grasping the material in your textbooks, right? Once you understand and comprehend those core theory and principles, then you can move on to learning how to apply them. I promise that if you commit yourself to beginning your studying that way, to beginning it with proper understanding and comprehension, not only will your grades improve, but you'll become a much more valuable engineer um, in the end. I hope you liked that video. I hope you found it valuable. You know, if you did, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. And let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, and if you want to know more about kind of how to become a more effective studier um, and more about what I went through to be successful, check out my book. I'll put a link for that in the description. Um, but until next time, thanks for watching and keep up the good work.